Health officials have been raising red flags for years over the very real dangers to humanity of drug-resistant superbugs. The bugs are on the rise around the world. They threaten millions of lives. And today, we're going to tell you about a new program in the UK which is aiming to reverse that trend by tackling the way antibiotics are made and used. Let's go to Cal Kayla Hounsell, who's in our bureau in London this morning, with more on uh, the program in just a second. But first of all, Kayla, on the threat these bugs pose. Well, Heather, most people can probably relate to this. If you get a minor infection, you cut your hand, or you get a sore throat, you get antibiotics. It's uncomfortable for a while, but usually not life threatening. But now the UK's Secretary of State for Health is calling this a potentially extraordinary problem because these superbugs are growing, getting stronger, and getting resistant to the medicine. He's quick to point out this is a global problem. These superbugs spread around the world, and he says if we don't respond appropriately, we could return to an age where the slightest infection could kill. In fact, he says across Europe, 33,000 people have have died because antibiotics didn't work for them. I think it's interesting when you call it a global problem because we understand today in Davos where all the world leaders or many of the elites are gathered at the World Economic Forum, the UK is going to pitch this plan and talk about it as a global health emergency. So we need to pay attention to what exactly the UK is proposing. What are the details of the plan? Well, the plan is this. First, the UK government says it will reduce the use of antibiotics by 15% over the next five years. The government is urging that we all need to be vigilant about just how many antibiotics we use, only using them when it is absolutely necessary. They're also pointing out that no new antibiotics have been developed in the last 25 years, so they're planning to change the way they fund drug companies here to encourage them to develop new medicines. So companies will now be paid for drugs based on how well they work rather than the way it is now which is by the quantity of drugs that are sold so for example instead of buying each individual pill the government is going to purchase an antibiotic service from a drug company therefore rewarding companies for coming up with better versions of the medicine here's the UK's Secretary of State for Health unless we get a grip on resistance to antibiotics People will die from these things and antibiotics won't be able to save them. This is a great plan. Um, this is a world first. It's a plan that looks to address antimicrobial resistance, not just here in the UK, but globally. And if we get this plan right, we could save millions of lives worldwide in the future. And the Association of the British Pharmaceutical Industry also says that pharmaceutical companies here are ready and waiting to start testing the new model to support this antibiotics research this year. They're also commending the UK for showing international leadership on what could become a global health threat, Heather. Kayla Hounsell in London, thank you very much.